It's you two. I have a commission here that has your names written all over it. In fact, I'd even go so far as to say you're the only ones for the job. The only ones for the job? Huh. If our help is really that important, it's probably some Archon class commission, right? <laughs> the Adventurous Guild doesn't employ that kind of classification system. In fact, this commission is also probably not nearly as intimidating as what you're expecting. All it asks us to do is to find a missing person. Huh? Then why did you say we were the only ones for the job? I came across this commission while reviewing our backlog not too long ago. It seems simple, but our records indicate that over a dozen successive efforts to complete it, with the reputation of the Adventurous Guild... Well, that's us for sure! <laughs> All I'm asking is for you to give it your best shot. If it proves to be beyond your capabilities as well, I'll talk to the commissioner about cancel- Okay, so who are we looking for? And what is it about this commission that's made it so hard to complete? This commission was jointly issued by the residents of- But the problem is, they don't know the missing person's name. They can only provide information- Uh, they're all from the- Side here. Hi, Grandpa Amadea. We're here to help you look for the guy that's gone missing. Ah, so that's what brings you to these parts. Coming all this... Could you tell us a bit about him? Of course. I'm happy with my failing eyesight. I'm afraid I can't offer much about his appearance. I don't think his parents are still living in the village. But somehow he never... He would often take time to visit. And whenever someone had something on their mind, he was there to live. As the village chief, I owe him many thanks. Wow, he seems like such a nice and gentle person. No wonder his disappearance affected you all so much. But, um, you wouldn't happen to know any details about his name, address, or family situation, right? Oh, I'm ashamed to admit it, but I just can't remember. No matter how you look at... Ah, uh, it's okay. There's no need to force you... How should I put it? Everyone has their own problems to deal with. <laughs> really? Aww. Wow, that sounds really nice. You're quite lucky. When it comes to our missing villager, well... I guess you could say that no matter what came my way, I knew I could always talk to him. Oh, right! I didn't know whether... Hmm. St uh, look at me. The last time I talked... Huh. Come to think of it. Every time we talked, it always seemed to be around dusk. Time always passed by really slowly. Even when it felt... Well, time always seems to pass slower when you're relaxed, right? Uh, what's wrong, Traveler? Now that I... They seem agitated and would often attack anything. Hmm. Maybe the Abyss Order really is involved. Well, we should head back and check out the situation in Vimara Village. Wait a second. The person... It's... It's Dainsliff! Ah. Care to investigate the Abyss Order, then? That would explain the monsters you were fighting just now. Naturally. Hold on. Are you not here for the same purpose? Hmm. 
No matter. The Abyss Order is most certainly... So you think the Abyss Order is... As things stand, I highly doubt that it's... Still, the Hillitrill activity is causing a lot of problems for the people here. The best way to protect them is by figuring out what the Abyss Order... And you shall have them. Don't worry. Ah. So that was the commission that brought you here to Vimara Village. Someone who seems to only exist in people's memories. That is indeed... It appears all we have by way of clues is... Right! That mysterious voice he heard in his sister's mem... Hmm. Traveler, let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Hmm. I sense hesitation and there's still hope for the two of... The sinner you wish to know about. His situation... His name... Is Vedrfolnir. The Visionary. I'm loath to admit it, but... Your... brother? There were five of them. The wise, Roptatir. The visionary, Vedrfolnir. Gold, Rhinedaughter. The foul, Sertologi. And Rehir of Solnari. No matter how eroded my memory may become, I will never... F Wait, some of those names sound really familiar. Rhine daughter is the... And the one we just learned about, Dane's brother, Vedafolnir. If he was the voice of the sinner, then the one who inspired... They were once people of great esteem in Conria. Six of us. Uh, Dane? Hello, Dane? Why are you just zoning out over here? Uh... Did something happen? <sighs> the missing person from your commission. Could you describe them to me? Oh, a uh, young guy, early twenties. Seriously, Dane? What? There appear to be certain memor memories. I uh, maybe. Maybe we just talked too much about him yesterday, and you had a weird dream or something? No. It wasn't a dream. They're... memories. Memories that suddenly appeared in my mind after I woke up. And I'm certain I've never met this person before. I remember handing him the eye of the... So this missing person definitely has something to do with the Abyss or- Indeed. Wait then. All the memories the villagers- Traveler, wait. <sighs> We've no time to lose. Let's head inside. The false memories were a trap. The Abyss Order just wanted to follow us here. Now that they're in the vicinity, we should have a chance to see. Dane? What's wrong? Can you feel that? There's been a disturbance in the ley lines. It must be the work of the Abyss. Wow, you must be really sensitive to that sort of thing. Vyman doesn't feel it. You too. Do as I say. Use that mechanism over there and leave the- The Abyss Order is putting some- Just think of it as a way to divide-
everyone all right? The Abyss Order seems to be up to something nearby. The Abyss Order? This is the first I'm hearing of it. Uh, thank you for your concern. But as far as I'm aware, it's been business as usual here in the village. Well, that's good to hear. Oh, also, you didn't happen to come across any clues about the missing villager while... Ah, I do, uh, at least right now. But how is that? Something's definitely not right. We just talked to Grandpa Amadea about the miss. Someone's gone missing? Who? Uh, just as expected. bunch of nice things about earlier? The one you always used to chat with. He's around 20 years old, and you said he was a kind, warm-hearted person? Oh, I know who you're talking about. Really? There aren't many young people who've earned that... Then there's only one person who fits the bill. No doubt about it. But why'd you say he's gone missing? Yeah, I j Strange. Bayram seems to remember him. And apparently he d Do you think maybe it's not that there's... Just like what happened with... If we really did tra time travel, it no. If this person. Right! Paimon totally forgot about the ley line disturbances. We're in someone else's memory. Just like how you entered your sibling's memory last time. That would also explain why we seem to be at a time before he went missing. It's a memory after all. Right. If he's someone who only... But didn't Bayron just say that he saw him? Who knows how long this ley line... Good idea! We pretty much figured out that the missing villager has the ability to... Right! That! So, you see, Granny Jahiat was a mercenary when she was younger. She just talks like that out of habit. She's not trying to scare the children on purpose. <laughs> oh, there I go again. Always talking about my own things. Um, it's okay if you don't. Oh, I, uh, I, I think you're an, you'll meet many amazing people and live a very happy life. You won't miss someone like me. Huh? Are those your friends over there? of Atosa hasn't met us yet. Friends? I guess you could say that. It must have taken them a lot of effort to find me. So, I should see what they need. I'm sorry, Atosa. We'll have to continue this conversation another time. Another time, huh? Um, yeah, okay. I'll head back to the village then. Talk to you... It's nice to see you, Traveler. I believe this is the first time we've met. Born into Ab... You're... Kari... Oh. You know me? Oh, I see. It was the memory, wasn't it? This is Atosa's memory. But...
I suppose you could call it the realm of my consciousness. I'm someone who no longer... Uh, it's nothing. I still have enough... Extreme sorrow and pain. Hope and regret. Court Father told me that once I possessed all those elements, I would become the loom of fate. But despite his intentions for me, in truth, the person you see before you now is nothing. As for your question, in its primitive form, once fully completed, the moment it gains the power to weave ley lines, it loses the lower level ability to influence memories, but it also becomes a tool that can change the entire- Yes, I have the ability to control the loom in its semi-completed form, after all. Ah, uh, that. I just wanted them to feel like I once existed in this world. As if... <sighs> I know, why would I do something so... <sighs> but I just... I had to know what it would be like if I had my own life. Chief Amadea, Aram, Granny Jahiat, Atosa. What would it be like if I could live alongside them? I was curious, so I selfishly tried to have my own life, even if, even if that meant piecing together the version of myself that could have been one memory at a time. I know it sounds stupid. <laughs> After all, my life had any chance at living, even the form you see before you was nothing but an invention. There's nothing I can do to make them find me. If I could exist in the real world, I would return without a second thought and surprise them with the suddenness of it all. But, well, that's not possible for me. Captain Dainsliff. Exactly. The loom of fate has already been completed. No need to worry about Captain Dainsliff. He's absolutely fine. The only reason he lost the eye was because I, Captain Dainsliff, has had the eye inside his body this whole time. His plan was to lure the Abyss Order to a false location, capitalizing on their pers- He would then hand the eye to you and tell you to take it away that way. Captain Dainsliff could accomplish his own goal and ensure the safety of the Eye all at once. That's right. Because in his mind, he... <laughs> Before you two entered that false location. Traveler, wait. Hmm? Uh, we've no time to lose. Let's head inside. That was when I implanted the memory of him handing. Given the tense situation at that time, I'm sorry, Traveler, but I needed the Loom of Fate. I promise I'm not trying to conceal anything from you. Tavat's ley line system is deeply entrenched in the planet. In the face of everything they could be in any case. I had my own use. You remember my father, don't you? After he used the power of the abyss to restore consciousness to my hilly churl form. To comfort me, my father told me a story. That this that story managed to dispel. My goal was simple. To 
to use the loom of fate in its near to implant a specific memory into the in that memory I would tell them a story I can't change the world not when I lost the very right to exist within it. All that's left, but now... Like I was too late to see Kari Bear one last time. <laughs> Kari Bear's consciousness is gone. And this space will soon disappear along with it. Neither of us belongs here. That's why we're not tangible. <sighs> Were that not the case, I'd love to hug you too. Well, how about a... The chance to just stop and talk like this is certainly not easy to come by. That battle earlier, the one against Dane, I, I didn't expect that after everything, he would... Were it not for that, the loom of fate, huh? Before the heavenly principles of... Yes, for 500 years, not long ago, you witnessed the high... Such a flagrant disregard for the rules, and still Celestia took no... However... The heavenly principles will awaken. You could say that. Just look at Kari Bear. He was so pure and single-minded. The space we now find ourselves is a per- Even as a hilly churl, seeing the terrible sight within the mirror, he brought comfort to the people of this- So ask yourself this. Of course, that's only one example. <sighs> Ether? You're the only one in this world who calls me that. There's so much I wanted to ask you, but for some reason, I'm not interested in asking those questions, right? There's just one thing I have to ask. One thing I could... Why? Why can't we continue our journey together? Hmm. At the end of my journey, I arrived at a place known as the Sea of Flowers at the end. Do you remember? A long time ago, you told me you wanted to, to have a place like that. Well... You mean... I miss you too, Ether. But as this war continues to rage, and as I continue to... I don't even know how to face myself sometime. <sighs> This space has lost its tether. I doubt it'll be able to exist much longer. In fact, aside from our inability to physically interact with each other, there's something else you should know about this space. Everything in this space will be wiped out of existence, no. including all memory of our reach. You want me to tell you this now?
sleepy. Oh, Paimon woke up a little earlier than you, so Paimon will fill you in. The villagers said that they... Oh, and Dane came by just now? He didn't say anything, though. Just make sure that you were all right and left. Kind of seemed like he had a lot on his mind, but... Hmm, let's think for a second. We were in that map. He was the missing villager that we've been trying to find, right? And after that... Uh, Paimon doesn't remember what happened. Wait, really? What a score! Well, what happened after that? Ah, there you are. <laughs> Sleep well. Bayram, you sure seem happy. Did something good happen? Something good? Huh. It's just that, well, the village organized another search, so there we were. According to him, one day around dusk, he was passing by this one tree. There he was, sleeping under that tree all by himself. His parents came a little later to wake, and after that, well, we all started to feel like that really is what happened. Oh, and we also remembered his name, Curry Bear. Now, that's not a name you hear every day. Would have been helpful if we remembered it sooner. Well, I hope he's happy. Seems like everyone thinks Curry Bear left the village. That's probably... Hmm... Paimon didn't see her... It's you two. I was part of the search party. Honestly, I just... It's funny, but... I guess it doesn't really... I'm just happy I got... <sighs> okay, I'll admit... I was dumped, wasn't I? Otherwise, why would he just leave like that without saying goodbye? <laughs> You don't need to comfort me. It's just like Kari Bear said. It's the things we overcome that make life more precious. And you know, if he has a heart... Me anyway, thanks for all your hard work, you two. Well, that should... Oh, right! Uh, a picture? 